Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve, and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now, we completed this bad boy the last time we were together. Sealed it, painted it, pow, this thing turned out radical. So what the heck are we doing back here again with the phaser? Well, we're back for the same reason we came back after we finished the retro ray gun after we finished the arm cannon, after we finished the shrink ray, because a kick butt prop can't be thrown down on the ground in shame like a sweat drenched pair of underwear after you cut the lawn in late August, 95 degrees, 95% humidity in Florida. No, kick butt prop deserves a kick butt stand, which is why we're here tonight. Uh, in this episode, making an EVA foam Star Trek phaser stand. We are going to knock out this little baby. <laughs> That's right, check that out. Black and gold, only two colors, super simple and super cool. It's got three levels to it, very simple, and it's got a brass rod which is going to go up into the handle of our phaser. Super easy build, this will be nothing. Um, so, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. This is going to be our custom stand for our phaser. It's going to be super easy. We've grown, this is only going to have three pieces on it. We're going to have the outside piece, the inside piece, the star, and the circle just represents where we're going to have the little brass tube sticking up so that the handle to the phaser can go onto it. So we're gonna have a pole sticking out of the stand and we're gonna have a hole drilled up inside the handle of the phaser so it stands right on there. Gonna be awesome. And we're gonna do some simple details. We're gonna round off some edges with the Dremel. We're gonna cut some bevels. It's gonna be just enough to be nice. And uh, again, when you're doing a themed stand, you can do whatever the heck you want. You could have done something that had a lot of the details from the actual phaser on it, but we decided to go clean, simple, and bold. All right, there we go. Super easy. Three different thicknesses of foam. Now again, like everything we do, it's up to you how thick you want to do your foam pieces on your props and especially on your themed stands. Probably want a thicker sized foam for a base, you know, and then maybe you can layer up with thinner stuff. We've got like a two millimeter for the star. We've got probably a four, four or a six for the second layer. And then for the thick layer, we're all the way up to the half inch business, which is kind of thick. All right, super easy. We're just gonna come in with our X-Acto. We're gonna cut on the outside of our Sharpie line. All right, there we go. Okay, now what we did is we retraced this inner template, but we flipped it backwards. And the reason we flipped it backwards is we wanna do a slight bevel cut that's gonna show up on the front end of this. So we're gonna cut it from the back side so we can tip our knife at an angle and create the bevel on the front. So what we're gonna do is we're going to tip our knife at a slight angle, not an incredible bevel, just a slight one. So the knife is just slightly tipped to the outside. Like that. Now, this is the tricky one. This one, we're going to have to be very careful. So this one, we're going to get our bevel started. We're gonna stand our knife up, but keep it tilted. We're going to pivot right around this inside. Keep our knife tilted. We're going to come straight out the end. Ooh, nice. Look at that. We had a slight bevel around the whole thing, around the whole, the whole logo. 
little tiny piece here we can clean up, but that's not a problem. All right, now we're gonna take the thickest piece and we're gonna cut it on the bandsaw. Right, there we go. Check that out. That's why a bandsaw is so jamming. Even if you can't get the super, super tight corners, you can hit it a couple different times going around it. So look at that. That is going to jam as a stand for our phaser. Now we're going to begin heat sealing and assembling. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to dremel a soft edge around the top of this piece. There we go, nice smooth edges. We're still gonna come in and hit it with our 220 just to help it out a little bit more. All right, that is smooth. Now we've got nice smooth round edges on the outside piece. We have an awesome beveled edge on the middle piece and we have a straight edge on the star. Three different techniques for the three different levels. Bam! All right, what we did is we transferred part of our star shape so we know where it's going to go down. tips of our star. Let's get it all smoothed out. That's going to get covered when we plastic dip it, so no worries. Let's get our squeeze out smoothed out, just like that. So when we seal it with the plastic dip, you can't really tell. Oh, 
All right, now we're gonna put this piece down. So we're gonna to have to trace our guideline right about there. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. We got a little bit outside the line, but you won't see that once we plasti dip it. Sometimes you can't avoid it with some little tiny corners, but for the most part, it won't be seen. All right, there we go. Give it five minutes. All right, time for contact. We're gonna lay it down, all the way down to Line it up. Look at that. That is a stand. Three different techniques. Rounded corners for the outer shape, beveled edge for the inner shape, straight cuts for the star. All right, now what we did was we came in here and we marked the two marks on our brass pole. This short end is gonna go down into the stand. This top end is gonna stick out and is gonna go up into the handle of the phaser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right on that mark. So we've got our snips. There we go, just like that. All right, very easy. Now we've got our drill out. We're going to hold this up we're gonna keep our fingers out of the way and we're gonna go straight through the center. There we go. Now we've got a hole for our brass tube to go in. Check that out. All right, now what we're going to do is the technique you've seen us use before, which is getting the bottom end of our pole contact cemented and while it's wet we're going to feed it in right to the spot we need it to be at just like that and we're going to clean up around it all right, there we go. Now what's going to happen is this, is the wet contact cement down inside where we drilled, the moisture content is going to evaporate inside the contact cement and it's going to stick. So we got the stick, <clears throat> the brass tube really wet. We got the tube in, we spun it around so that all the contact cement doesn't just touch the brass pole but touches the inside of the foam and then like we just said when the moisture content evaporates they will stick together there we go that's it all right we're out at the spray booth we're gonna do our phaser stand and always wear your respirator we talk about this every time even if you're outside use this because you don't want to breathe that and you can probably hear all the critters out here this morning waking up. All right, there we go. Our stand is coated with several layers of plastidip. Unfortunately, we had a small accident. While it was soaking wet, it tipped over and I got a smudge on it. But that's life. 
and the crazy topsy-turvy world of foam prop making, mayhem does ensue. Our tape, there we go. Alright, super simple paint job. Come in with our little piece of cardboard. We're going to do one color only, the metallic gold. We're going to do the second layer of the stand with our gold. We're going to come in. We're going to carefully lay down our color right up against the edge. No tape. Now we're going to come in and hit the edge. And we're just going to follow it all the way around. Alright, there we go. We've got all the edges done. And the top. Perfect. Now, like we said, we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to go over it with a second coat. And it's going to be nice and flat shiny metallic gold. Alright, notice how flat that gold looks because we're coming in now and we're putting a second coat down in the opposite direction. Alright, now you can see how it's filling in as we put a second layer down. Alright, now while our stand is drying we're going to bring in our phaser we marked our spot at the bottom. Now we're going to drill straight up into the handle. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, now this is going to slide right on the stand. Just like that. Perfect. And then it comes right off. Just like that. Nice. All right, there we go. See that? Put down a light layer first, let it dry, put down a second layer, and as you continue to let it dry and put more layers on it, you get a nice solid coat. Very nice. That is one beautiful stand right there. And then you bring in the phaser, slide it down on the stand, and look at that. Oh yeah, man, look at how cool that is. Super simple, but super cool. Comes right off. We use our brass rod as a stand to go right up in our handle. Really nice simple stand with three simple layers, the bottom layer, a bevel top layer, and the star. And then it's totally simple. The hole we drilled slips right back in there and bam, just like that. All right, man, nothing announces to your fellow co-workers of your supreme nerd status like an EVA foam Star Trek phaser with a custom Star Trek emblem stand. <laughs> That's right. Let them know who you are. Um, so that was it, man. Super easy build, and it looks really cool. So uh, that concludes making an EVA foam Star Trek Phaser Stand. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.